गोल इसको गोल गोल से मारो अरे गोल तो मैं कर दी मुझे अरे गोल इसको अरे बोलो ना अरे भाई ना शो भाई ना शो तुम्हारा शो ना नहीं मैंने सुना नहीं अरे इसको बुलाने दे और कौन कितने लड़के हैं इसका वीडियो चलो सारे सारे निकलो आओ एक एक My name is Urmi Basu. I'm the founder of Project New Light, located in the Kalikat Red Light District in Kolkata. So, most women that we have worked with, in my experience, they've all come from rural areas, or some of them from the urban areas as well, who have had no opportunity to do anything else in their lives. And the common feature in trafficking that people who traffic young girls and women are known faces. That is what makes all of us working in this field so completely outraged that how can you exploit another person's trust, another person's confidence in this way and turn them into commodities and turn them into, into victims overnight. There are more people enslaved today than any other time in history. India is the most dangerous place in the world to be a girl. Girls are disappearing from the streets at an alarming rate. Many of them are being captured by human traffickers and sold as sex slaves. Human trafficking is now the fastest growing criminal industry with traffickers making over $32 billion a year worldwide. India's deeply religious culture strictly discourages casual sex before marriage. As Indian cities continue to swell with overpopulation and urbanization, more men are turning to brothels to express sexual freedom. But at what cost? See, anything to do with India is big. Look at the number of people we have here. And young people don't have an opportunity to go and have you know, free dating, have sex with somebody that they like, somebody that they want to hang out for a while without the added burden of commitment and marriage. So what do you do? You go pay for sex. अपना आपको बुझाने पूजाने लगा 
सब दोस्त लोग उस टाइम दोस्त लोग भी मिल गया उस टाइम वो लोग बोला जो चलो जब जिंदगी बर्बाद हो ही गया तो अब तो ये करना ही है आपका अब तो इज्जत नहीं मिलेगा ना तो करो चलो वही सोच के ही अभी तक ऐसे ही काम में है और एक बुढ़ी इंसान है वो वो लिखा ही थी घर का काम करने के लिए बोली थी इधर आए तो ऐसा काम तो राजी थी क्या करेगा माँ बाप से जोड़ा करके आए तो अपना कोई नहीं है सब बल्कि मैं चलता था करके तेरह साल उम्र था तब हमको ला के यहाँ बिक्री करके कोई चला गया था The majority of prostitutes working today were trafficked from the young age of 11 years old and forced into the industry. Girls are lured in with promises of job prospects in the big city. Brothel owners then abuse, drug and imprison the girls, making family contact or escape virtually impossible. Very few come into the trade voluntarily. India's history with sex slavery is a complicated and culturally embedded tradition. Mughal kings would go to a swari and there would be this woman who was extremely adept at writing uh, very fine poetry, painting, and she would adorn herself in the most electable manner, and then she would dance. And that was her purpose in, in life, that is to please the king. And then there are tribes, smaller groups of people, communities, where women are considered to be born to become prostitutes. The only thing that she can ever become is a prostitute. So there are various layers and different colors and, and complexities involved in this. These days, a wide range of men, from professional to poor, come to take advantage of the availability of these brothels. It's a society in transition. Men are constantly finding uh, ways of earning a little more. But at the same time, it's also a society that's completely um, failing to recognize sexual needs of its people. You don't get to a population of 1.2 billion by saying Hail Marys. So people are constantly having sex. In India, there is a prostitute for every class. 
The demand for prostitution is growing so quickly that men, rich and poor, are visiting brothels en masse. Many of them will often spend an average of $4 per visit, no matter how little they make. first step in the red light area and I was very shocked because I come from a very sheltered family and I had never seen that place even though I was staying for maybe five kilometers away from that brothel so that was uh, that shocked me a lot looking at the young minor girls serving to the clients that was that was a lot for me to take Human trafficking is not only illegal and widespread, it is a gross violation of human rights. Today, there are more people enslaved than any other time in history, with 20 to 65 million slaves in India alone. It's estimated that there are over 3 million prostitutes in India, the equivalent of the entire population of the state of Iowa. <laughs> Some men broke into the Church of the Convent of Jesus and Mary, and there's an adjoining school. Initially, they ransacked through the property and didn't find any money. They came looking for stuff. A 75-year-old sister who was sleeping, and uh, uh, they raped her. Apparently, the gang raped her. Sister was not wearing revealing clothes. She had not uh, consumed any alcohol. She was not in a nightclub at 2 a.m. She did not take a lift from strangers. What kind of perverted, barbaric mind would you need to torture another human being the way she was tortured? The demand is rising day by day. When we rescue one girl or five girls, we find another five girls landing there. In Shakti Vaini, we get information from various sources that XYZ girls have been sold here, please do the raids and rescue. So once we get credible information on raids and rescue, we immediately inform the anti-human trafficking police unit or the police district chief of the certain districts where we want to do the raids. We know about a girl who has been trafficked who is under your police jurisdiction area. We want a police help. Two hundred and seventy million Indians live below the poverty line on just $1.25 a day. Struggling families are often desperate for opportunities to earn money, becoming prey to opportunistic traffickers. At times, a father is missing from the home or unable to work, leaving daughters with a responsibility to help. When approached with the chance to work, they have almost no choice but to accept. Many social factors degrade the status of women in India. They are often viewed as commodities without rights. Growing demand for the sex trade is forcing rapid growth of the industry, with the majority of its current victims brought from within. In countries like neighboring Nepal, trafficking is an issue affecting villages and cities.
During an interview, an earthquake hit Nepal. Destructive 7.8 earthquake killed over 9,000 people and destroyed 740,000 homes. In Kathmandu, apartment buildings collapsed. Nowhere was hit worse than the remote villages, where people's already limited chances for survival were crushed. Traffickers seized the opportunity. Within hours of the earthquake, there were reports of individuals visiting destroyed villages claiming to be aid workers and trafficking young girls to India. Nepal is known for its peaceful spirituality and the tallest mountains in the world. Travelers speak of its beauty and the warm hospitality of its people. With 80% of the population living in poverty, many are at risk of being trafficked. Not only are Nepali women easy targets for traffickers, but they are also highly sought after. To many men in India, Nepal is known for its fair-skinned women. Have you seen how beautiful Nepalese girls are? And every Indian man's dream is to be with a woman that's fair-skinned. Like, they can barely speak clear Nepali, they speak a very... Uh, different dialect of the mountains, so their language is taken away from them. So there's a state of denial that uh, trafficking is uh, this huge uh, an issue because they do not think 12,000 Nepalese being trafficked every year is a big enough number to act fast. Girls like Ashima who come from impoverished families, are lured into the trade under false pretenses. Given offers of cleaning jobs or the chance of an education, these girls are encouraged by promises of a better life.
अनि गएपछि अनि हामी गङ्गा गुड बस चढ्यौ हैन बस चढेपछि अनि कोल्ड ड्रिंक्सहरु खाए के तिनीहरुले खाए अनि मलाई पनि दिए अनि त्यतिखेर चाहिँ मलाई चाहिँ कोक दिएको थियो मलाई थाहा छ राम्रो भएको थियो नि अनि हामी त्यहाँबाट गाडी चढ्यौ हैन अनि गाडी चढेपछि चाहिँ मलाई कस्तो निन्द्र लाग्यो अनि म सुते खाएपछि अनि मलाई रिक्सा मालेर लिएर गयो अनि त्यसले के भन्यो भने तिमीलाई यदि बाटोमा सोध्यो भने तिमी पढ्न जानु लाग्यो यो चाहिँ मेरो मामा हो भनेर सो भन भन्यो थियो कि ट्रेनमा लगेपछि कति दिन पछि पो पुगे पनि मैले म त्यो केटी त्यो घर चाहिँ यस्तो चाहिँ पुरै फलाम फलाम र बेरेर क्या वरिपरि त्यहाँबाट भाग्ने चान्स छैन अनि यसलाई लगेर त्यस्तै पन्ध्र दिन भएको छ कि सोह्र दिन भएको छ है त्यो सुकुमन भन्ने फर्किएछ उता यसलाई पुऱ्याएर फर्किएछ अनि मलाई यो माजुम्री भन्ने ठाउँमा बोलायो यसले दिदी मलाई भेट्न आऊ भन्यो उसले केही राम्रो खबर पनि पठायो होला भनेर म खुरु दौरेर गयो बिहानको मेला नगइकन दौरेर गयो तल गयो बहिनीले त पैसा पठाएको छ त दिदी भन्यो मलाई म झैसँग भो त्यतिखेरै आज गाउँको पन्ध्र दिन त भएको छैन अहिले मेरो छोरीले पैसा पठायो भन्दाखेरि के त केहीमा त परेन मेरो छोरी त एकछिन पछि सबैजना केटीहरू त नुहाएर निस्किन्छ म त कस्तो अचम्म लाग्यो अनि यति धेरै केटीहरू नि सब प्राय सबै नेपाली थियो अनि मैले सोध्यो दिदी तपाईँहरू यहाँ केही गर्नुहुन्छ भन्यो अनि त्यसो एकजना केटा आयो मोटे मान्छे अनि त्यसो त्यसले चाहिँ यो केटी भन्यो क्या मलाई अनि त्यसो त्यसले म म मलाई जा भन्यो अनि म जान्न भन्यो भने त्यहाँबाट इफ यति धेरै केटीहरू सबै मारिदिने क्या इफ मानेन भने मारिदिने त्यस्तो माने मलाई टाउको त्यस्तो यता यता हाने जसले केही पनि भएको थिएन टाउकोमा हानेर टाउकोबाट रगत आए पछि अनि म बेहोस भएँ अनि त्यसपछि अनि त्यसपछि तिनीहरूले मलाई रेप गऱ्यो ट्राई ट्राई त मैले एकदमै धेरै गरेँ त्यहाँ गएर सुसाइड ट्राई नगर्ने केटीहरू आई डोन्ट थिङ्क कोही पनि हुँदैन होला सबैले ट्राई गर्छ नि त तर अप्सन हुनु पर्यो नि के गरेर ट्राई गर्ने मैले धेरैचोटि ट्राई गरेँ तर In Nepal, there are so many districts where even, you know, like uh, two meals a day is a, uh, you know, like far-fetched dream. But girls are not trafficked from everywhere. Girls are trafficked from typical areas where the foundation of traffickers have been very strong. Where they are so structurally engaged and protected and have all the favorable environment and it continues as a business because it's a huge money earning game for a lot of people after the earthquake the jail in sindhupalchuk has been damaged and like so many traffickers just got scot free they just ran away and uh, no follow up has been done they have not been rearrested jail bhatkyo re tya bara bhage sare bhanne kura chai उहाँ भएर है भन्नुभयो अनि मैले एउटा यहाँ उसले हाम्रो सन्तान नचिनेको कोही छैन चिनिराखेको छ भने भोलि उसले केही बाटो घाटमा केही गर्नु सक्ला तिनीहरू जेलमा हुँदा पनि मान्छे कति पावरफुल थियो झन् त्यो जेलबाट निस्किएपछि त उनीहरूसँग त फुल पावर छ नि त अहिलेखेर जति अनि मलाई उहाँलाई मैले फोन गरेको यसो गरेर चाहिँ अपराधी चाहिँ भागिरहेको छ अरे यसलाई कसरी के गर्ने भन्ने कुरा तपाईँहरूलाई मैले जिम्मा लाग्छ उही बेलामा A common trafficking route exists between Nepali and Indian borders due to lax security and patrol. It is on these dry riverbeds that Nepali victims are introduced to their terrifying futures. Dulabari is on the Nepal side and Kakurpita is on the Indian side and it, there is a there is a you know a, a bridge over a river which is which is actually stretched over a dry bed. And you might as well walk up a few kilometers and cross over on the river. Nobody's bothered. And you just come in, there is no, no frame of metal detectors, there is no fingerprinting taken, there is... The surveillance is zero. On average, Indian police make a meager $12 per day and are often poorly trained. 
With low wages barely supporting their families, the police are highly prone to corruption. They are also known to take advantage of the trafficked girls themselves and can even tip off sex traffickers to impede rescue efforts. And the police, the border security force, they are underpaid, overworked, not interested, and opportunity for making money. There are times when the border security force personnel are looking the other way when the traffickers group is bringing over girls and cattle on the same boat. Many of the girls are completely illiterate, so if she can get in touch with somebody and tell the person, I am here, how would she know where she is? She can't read. The locations change very rapidly. They're brought to Kolkata. From Kolkata, they might be taken to a place in Bihar, from there to Delhi, from Delhi to Mumbai, Mumbai to Pune, Goa. I mean, the travel and the change of place happens so rapidly that by the end of the time, they're just completely disoriented. So the staging area is they bring the girls and keep them like in a, a, a house where many of them are held for a while and then they are taken into different directions. There is no difference between breaking a wild horse into a tame one and getting a young girl who is a regular, comes from a regular householder's family and breaking her into prostitution. The processes are just the same. At that time, we were extremely poor. A lady in our village had been watching us closely. She said, you're like a daughter to me. I can get you a job as a maid in Delhi. I agreed as our family was so poor. I hadn't left my home in 14 years. I was really sad and was crying the whole way. The lady shouted at me because she was worried what people would think. She told me to pretend that she was my mother so I wouldn't raise suspicion. I agreed. She handed me off to an old man. He took me to a beauty shop. I was hesitant to do so but they said I had to look pretty for my new job. Customers had to be greeted by a clean girl. I thought it must be right. The old man took us to an apartment. I met a man named Kabir. They worked together as partners. He said, she's really young. Kabir wanted to take my virginity. He apparently did that to all the new Nepali girls. I was saying, no, no, I can't do this. I will even wash dishes, but I can't do this. I'd rather die. Woke up the next morning and didn't have any clothes on my body. When I looked down, I was bleeding all over. They didn't even take me to the hospital. They kept me locked in the apartment. After a few days, they took me to another place. There was no food to eat. They kept pressuring me to work. I didn't even know what they wanted me to do. In a day, about 20 to 25 people came for me. So many people, it was hard for me to cope with at such a young age. My body couldn't handle it. It was like dying with each breath. They made me do things even if I cried, begged or protested. I heard them talking about my height and weight on the phone. They came in groups, usually five to six people at one time. I wanted to go home, but they didn't care. Some beat me and threatened to throw me out naked. I used to cry a lot. I begged whoever came to me to take me to Nepal. They said that 
I will never see any of my friends or family ever again. Yeah, the purpose of, you know, like the gang rape and instilling threat on the girls is that to give a message that you are our property, that you stay, you know, like feared and that you do not dare move out from this and you do not dare anything against us. That's why. And one or two cases uh, in, in my starting career, we saw uh, the violence in the brothels. Where, where these hot pressure cookers were pre pushed into these girls. It is so fearful for these girls that they break. They force these girls to have sex with those customers, otherwise they will be killed. In the mountains of northern India, Darjeeling is known as a summer getaway to escape the heat of the southern cities. It may be famous for high quality tea and cooler weather, but Darjeeling is also a growing hotspot for traffickers. With a major Nepali influence, young girls are targeted for their light skin. And with Darjeeling borders inside of India, traffickers aren't faced with borders to cross. When Pavrita's brother Bishal Rai realized his sister had been trafficked, he contacted a local school teacher and was able to talk with Marg, an anti-human trafficking NGO in Darjeeling. First of all, I was able to talk to the uh, Many times, families have to take matters into their own hands. Pavrita thought she had found a job to support her child back home. Instead, she was held against her will, drugged, beaten, and raped. Police treated Pavrita as a criminal, holding her in a cell without any medical care for her injuries. Meanwhile, the two men who abused her roamed free. Police 
they win the trust of the girl and they take the girl right now what happens is she has the trust is broken here okay the person who like like it was like a father who took her you know and the father and the son started abusing her hitting her maybe they even tried to uh, see see saying that they try to uh, rape her and all that. but she does not she does not know what has happened to her because she was drugged local police in kalimpong took over the case but refused to acknowledge the severity of the situation instead of bringing charges of trafficking they chose to classify the case as a kidnapping the case was actually the case of kidnapping and the complainant has also alleged that uh, her sister the victim rather he has been uh, compelled to take drugs mixed with the foods and his drinks in in this particular section has also been added in this case and the judicial statement of the victim it also um, has been recorded if the victim stated that the she has been raped allegedly raped by that two person or the two persons the father and the son then addings in the section will be added in this particular case uh, no sorts of uh, human trafficking has been found till because the victim uh, has went there in, as as per his own will often women are reluctant to report their ordeal to the police rather than offering protection police often turn against victims instead tela je mole bhane ga ajiwa nai hos jindagi bhar kai ko kai ma sab usle je chakhus ho चार दिवार भित्र कस्तो हुँदो रहेछ बहिनीलाई कस्तो कैदा पारेर राखे थिए त्यस्तै खालको उनीहरूलाई पनि अब त्यो भित्रकै त्यति नै हो जिन्दगी भर बाहिर पनि ननिक्लोस् हो उता झेलको झेलकै अन्दर गर्नु बसोस् Kolkata, the capital of West Bengal. Known for its colorful culture and street food, it's also a key destination for trafficking. For traffickers, Kolkata is a convenient transit point. Many girls from the Sundarbans, Bangladesh and Nepal are first brought to Kolkata. with girls then taken on to delhi mumbai or further south to bangalore if forced to stay in kolkata they are often brought to the largest brothel in asia sonagachi oi ya kolkata pehle tha wahan jata aata tha wahan se leke aaya tha bola hum kaam karta kaam karta hai aise jagah par hum bhi isko le jayega mera sang kaam karega bol ke la ke bikir karke chala gaya tha आपको पता था कौन सा काम था अब बोला तो हम होटल में होटल में कोई काम करता है मेरा अपना होटल है वही काम करेगा इतना ही मालूम है उसका बाकी यार मालूम नहीं तो जब इधर आए आपको दिखाया आपको पता चला होगा कौन सा काम है तो कैसा लगा आपको नहीं उस टाइम तो अच्छा नहीं लगा फिर हम तो बहुत हम कोशिश किया भागने के लिए जाने के लिए अपना गाँव जाने के लिए हम बोला ऐसा काम हम नहीं करेंगे हम गडल हम लोग के में ऐसे काम नहीं होता तो फिर जो इसका पास बिक्री कर दिया था वो फिर मारा पीटा थाना पुलिस बहुत कुछ किया उसके बाद में फिर छोटे बच्चे यहाँ आते हम लोग भागा के निकाल देते गली से जो छोटे लड़, लड़की नहीं आना चाहिए क्यों हम लोग भी तो कह रहे हैं अगर बीच में तुम अगर रहोगे तो, तो हम लोग का कस्टमर कैसे हो अगर बच्चा देखेंगे तो मम्मी ऐसा काम कर रहे तो खराब तो जरूर लगेंगे विदाउट अ चॉइस चिल्ड्रन बोर्न इनटू ब्रोथल्स आर एक्सपोज्ड टू देयर मदर्स वर्क ऑन अ डेली बेसिस मेनी चिल्ड्रन इवन स्लीप अंडर द बेड्स इन व्हिच देयर मदर्स वर्क विद फ्यू ऑप्शंस टू ऑक्युपाई चिल्ड्रन ड्यूरिंग द डे मेनी आर लेफ्ट टू देयर ओन डिवाइसेस फॉलिंग इनटू क्राइम एंड वायलेंस women working with their clients in small rooms very often i saw young kids sleeping under the beds of the mothers while they were working and that that really disturbed me a great deal
New Light is an organization working to break this cycle. If New Light did not exist, these kids would be in the streets. Or some of the smaller ones would be given alcohol and made to sleep under the bed where the mother is working. And the young teenagers would hang out in the street, be in the company of other people, watch people gamble, watch people drink, get small sums of money uh, uh, in exchange of um, buying cigarettes and country liquor. They tend to be sexually active way earlier than usual. Most of them are subjected to sexual abuse, very often by the partners of the mothers and the pimps. Mothers are forced to put their children to work as they grow older, becoming prostitutes and pimps themselves. Initial challenge for us working here was to convince the mothers that a different life is possible for their children because there were no established models of success. And the minimum time for wait for to see something like that uh, take fruition was predicted as 15 years. So who has patience for 15 years in a setup there where there is no guarantee for tomorrow's meal or tomorrow's shelter? That's why I wake up every morning. To get to a job where I don't have to answer to a bus and never feel that this job is a burden, because it is not. Sundarbans is one of the poorest regions in the country. Many families struggle to survive in the Sundarbans. Mala's family is no different. I mean, if you travel to Sundarbans, every third or fourth house you'll find somebody's child is missing. It's that huge. ছিল জোরপে কাজ করতে হবে শাড়ির উপরে হচ্ছে কি ওই যে কসব দিয়ে কাজ কোনো করা থাকবে তারপরে সব সেই কারণে কাজ করতে যাওয়ার জন্য আমি রাজি হয়েছিলাম হ্যাঁ আমার জানাশোনা লোক ছিল আমার দিদির সম্পর্ক হতো তারপরে সেই দিন রাতে ও আমাকে ভাত বানিয়ে ভাত খেতে দিল খাওয়ার পরে থেকে আমার কি হয়ে গেল আমি তখন নিজেই বুঝতে পারলাম না তখন ও যা কথা বললো তখন ও যা কথা বললো ওর কথা তখন আমি শুনলাম আমি দিল্লি পৌঁছানোর পরে ওখান থেকে আমাকে নিয়ে গেল ছেলেটা তখন মেয়েটা আমার সাথে ছিল না তখন মেয়েটা আমার সাথে ছিল না ছেলেটা তখন আমাকে নিয়ে গেল ওখান থেকে নিয়ে গিয়ে একটা ঘরের মধ্যে আমাকে রাখলো হ্যাঁ তখন ওই ছেলেটা একাই ছিল 
তখন হচ্ছে কি তারপরে থেকে আর একটা ছেলে এলো আসার পরে তারপরে আর একটা ছেলে হ্যাঁ আমার সঙ্গে প্রচুর জোরজবস্তি হয়েছিল এবং আমাকে প্রচুর মারধরও করেছিল প্রচুর মেরেছিল মা মানে চার মাস আগে আমার কাছে একদিন ফোন করলো দাদা হয়েছে আমি চলে যাব এইরকম আমাকে এখান থেকে বিক্রি করে দিচ্ছে অন্য জায়গা তুমি মার কাছে বলো মা যেন হচ্ছে আমাকে হচ্ছে ফিরে নিয়ে যায় না কেন বিক্রি করে দিচ্ছে না এইরকম আমি হচ্ছে দা আমার সব যা ফোন করতাম আমার কাছে রেকর্ডিং করে দিত হচ্ছে আমি হচ্ছে ফোন করলে হচ্ছে ওরা রেকর্ড করে নিয়ে নিত আমি এখান থেকে থাকার পরে দু হাত বিক্রি হয়ে গেছি এই তিন হাতে পড়েছি আমাকে তাহারি ফিরে নিয়ে যাও বলে ওই একবার ফোন করলো করার পরে হচ্ছে একদম হচ্ছে আর হচ্ছে ফোন করত না ওয়াইল শি ওয়াজ देयर শি ম্যানেজ টু মিট আ ইয়াং ম্যান হু হেল্পড হার এসকেপ ফ্রম देयर আফটার এসকেপিং ফ্রম দ্য ব্রাথেল শি গট ইন টাচ উইথ her family who approached Kuntali Shamadhan Shamiti and she was brought back to the Sundarbans. When I was born, I was born and 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 I and say that they would kill her they would kill her family and burn their house down are ratre chhele dhore thakbi tara ki kaj kore ei rokom bolta ar amar to beshi bolar kichu nei ekhane ashar pore oderke rehabilitation er ekta mushkil ache seta hocche je o jokhon grame phire asche gramer lokjon ba or boyeshi or bondhu bandhob jara ba poribarer lokjon etai tar karon trafficker ekebare kache kache thake আমি মহিলা সমিতি যে এনেছি দাদাদের কাছে দাদারা যেভাবে যা করলে হয় সেভাবে কাজ এখন করে যাচ্ছে আমি দাদার আমি ভাড়া ফোন দিয়েছি আমি মুখ সুখু মানুষ আমি কিছু জানি না আমি বেশি বুঝি না আমার চোখ থাকতে অন্ধ আমরা আমরা পাগলা ছাগলা মানুষ আমরা বুঝি না যা করবে দাদা তুমি করো তাহলে এখন হুমকি দিচ্ছে যে ওদের মাই জি পেলে মুন্ডু কাটবো এরকম বলে বেড়াচ্ছে ওরা এভরি সিঙ্গল ডে শি লিভস উইথ দিস মডেল ফিয়ার অফ বিং ইদার ইউ নো স্ট্যাপড অর কিলড অর হার হাউস বার্ন ডাউন এন্ড দিস আর ওপেন থ্রেটস দ্য ট্রাফিকার্স হু আর আউট অন বেল nobody is keeping a tab on them nobody is trying to find out what kind of intimidating tactics they are resorting to the police is too busy with their other cases and they live in such a remote area that access is very very difficult and also mala's mother her family being so poor so poor it's just an unbelievable kind of existence ওখানে গিয়ে দিয়ে আসা করলাম কিছু লোক বললো স্টেশনের দিকে গেছে তখন আমি বললাম ঠিক আছে চলো স্টেশনের দিকে গিয়ে খুঁজে দেখি স্টেশনে গিয়ে দেখলাম ওকে পেলাম 
हमारी क्राइम ब्रांच जो होती है वहाँ पर ये हैंडफुल ऑफ पर्सन रहती है वहाँ पर हमारी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर भी बहुत छोटी है हमने तो वहाँ पर ये एक केस दर्ज हुआ फिर उसका जो पिताजी है लड़की का जो पिताजी है उन्होंने हमारे पास आए एक केस हमारा जो वेस्ट बंगाल है वो वेस्ट बंगाल में एक केस दर्ज हुआ था वो है जॉयनगर पुलिस स्टेशन और वो जस्ट डैपियर हो गया मुझे पता चल गया कि लड़के दिल्ली में ही है और हो सकता है कि वो जी बी रोड में नहीं है लेकिन दिल्ली में है आ गए हमने तुरंत शक्ति भाई ने ऋषि जी से मुलाकात की कॉन्टैक्ट किया फ़ोन में वो कॉन्टैक्ट करने के बाद उन्होंने भी कहा कि ठीक है आप आ जाइए In a city of 25 million people, Delhi is the second most populous city in the world. Surrounded by dense villages, people come in thousands to seek work opportunities from the capital. Many have migrated from locations across the country, separating from their families for work. As the population increases, so does the demand for prostitution. This is the girl who has been trafficked. If any step, if we lose, we we may endanger our life. Our first responsibility is to save a child and then we catch the traffickers. You're, you're rescuing a girl at the red light area, sometimes uh, it, it may create a lot of problems from the community or, or the traffickers. But, but uh, our team is very specialized, they know what to do. That's what I say that first 24 hours is very crucial for a rescue operation. If, if we lose time, I don't know where she will reach. She's in Delhi. So, you can keep her safely in 64. This can be also. When she's talking about this, there are a lot of people in Nepal. That means that either in the GB Road, या दिल्ली में मजनू का टीला एरिया में रखा हुआ या कोटला। The place where we are trying to do the raid is called the Loni area, and it's one of the most difficult place to do a rescue operation. You know, sometimes people will become violent, so we have to be very very cautious. 
but this is what our job is to catch the trafficker put them behind bars because one trafficker is left out there might be hundreds and hundreds girls he will be trafficking we prefer in the night is because that we will get the location because in the daytime they might be moving from one place to another This is a highly, highly organized gangs which procures girls from West Bengal and other states, bring it to Delhi, put it in the suburbs of Delhi and then resell them in the red light area of Delhi in GB Road. If we get this girl, we will be able to crack the whole network of traffickers. If we don't get the girl, at least the man called Jabbar, who is a trafficker, we get him and maybe he will t further tell where the girl is. Go, go. Showing how poorly agencies coordinate, the Delhi police decide to make their move before Rishi and the CID arrive. When the team arrives, traffickers are still present, but Puja is already gone. Corrupt members of the Delhi police tip the traffickers off. This makes it easier for them to move Puja even before the raid takes place. First of all, we went to the police station and when we went inside the police station, uh, I told the senior cop, briefed all the details. Uh, we sat for around 15-20 minutes. Uh, there was one police officer who came. He said that, uh, what do you want? I told that I have already informed your senior police officer. He said that, no, tell me. I said, why? He, he said, he started then he, he got pissed off, he took out his gun and put it on the table. And he said that, if you want things to be done, tell me. I said, look, you are behaving improperly as a police officer. First of all, you should put your gun in your pocket where, where, you, where you regularly keep. Don't threaten us with, with gun and don't tell tell me that what to do and what not to do. I have already informed your senior police officers and they have already instructed me what to do and what not to do. So who are you? We have tried to conduct a raid, but we have failed. It's not a failure, it's just to re reorganize, talk to the senior officers, see how, how this movement of the mobile uh, through the uh, request of the CID and I think again we can come in another two or three days. What happened? The police went in there, you tried to help, they, they, what, what all happened? The senior police was very helpful, the senior barricade was very helpful, but the moment the information has reached to the lowest level, 
information is passed i feel it they are informing p Uh, 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 the info, uh, uh, the traffickers and and uh, uh, on one side we are we as an activist are fighting with the traffickers on the other side we are also fighting with these uh, these uh, police officers uh, or, or lower level rank police constables who the moment they get information they pass on Home of Bollywood. Mumbai is one of the most densely populated urban areas in the world. It is home to the richest and the poorest of India. No other city sees such a dramatic economic gap. If a girl cannot escape her trafficker, she is destined to live her life as a prostitute. In places like Kamathipura, girls are broken and beaten then sold by pimps to customers Deepika was trafficked at the age of 13 now as a mature woman she is hiv positive and too old to have the support of a pimp or madam to help her get business instead she has been left to fend for herself doing the only job she has ever known अभी जो चेहरा है ना वो रात को बदली हो जाता है मेकअप करते हैं ना तो चेहरा एकदम फ्रेश हो जाता है पाँच सौ रुपये लेते हैं एक टाइम का कस्टमर के साथ मैं इधर एच आई टेस्टिंग करवाई थी तो मुझे पता लगा मैं पॉजिटिव हूँ तब मेरे को बहुत ही अफसोस हो रहा था मैं दारू पीने लग गई थी ज़्यादा ही नशा करने लग गई थी मरने जैसा हो गई थी मुझे ऐसा लग रहा था जैसे कि मुझे जीना ही नहीं है मर जाना है क्योंकि एच आई वाले लोग मर जाते हैं इट इज़ अ कॉमन स्टोरी मोस्ट ऑफ द अदर वुमेन लिविंग इन द ब्रोथल वो ट्रैफिक अब्यूज्ड एंड आर नाउ लिविंग विद एच आई वी वन मिनट एन इनोसेंट चाइल्ड द नेक्स्ट forced into a life of sickness and abuse dikke usme mere ko torture zyada ho gaya tha jalaya hai mere ko war kiya hai peet mein war hai chhate pe idhar hai peet mein hai कर्नाटक से 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 बेंगलोर बोलो ये ये लगा बोल रहा है कॉन्डम क्या चीज है तो हम लोग को मालूम नहीं था तब हम लोग बिगड़ कॉन्डम चाहिए उसका साथ में सम्मान करके पैसा लेता था बहुत दुख लगता है जब हम लोग तो ये लाइन के ऊपर बर्बाद हो गए थे फिर दूसरे लड़ाई लड़की लोग लेके आए छोड़ देता है बहुत दुख लगता है मैं तो भी मिलेगा तो मैं अब भी, भी चल जाता है थोड़ा कर्जा पानी है ना उसके लिए नहीं जा सकते हैं लोग के पास रूजी उठा के गाँव में थोड़ा तो 
जो आज बैंड ने हमारे साथ जो जो हरकतें किया वैसा हमारे बच्चे लोग के ऊपर ना हो बस गॉड से यही दुआ करती हूँ मैं कि कोई भी बच्चे के साथ ना हो हमारे ही साथ बच्चे के साथ नहीं कोई भी बच्चे के साथ rescue operation and uh, we know the exact spot so let's see mystery trafficking victim be simultaneously changing our places and accused also trafficker also changing their places so we have to get we have to date simultaneously both the person for the purpose of the recovery of the victim and for the purpose of the arrest of the trafficker like in this case we are going for a rescue operation we don't know whether we will find this girl or not
মেয়ে আসছে বা কি খাবেন বলুন আমার মেয়ে আসছে খুব আনন্দ হচ্ছে আমার ভিতরে আপনি আমাকে কি খাবেন বলুন আপনাদের জন্য কি নিয়ে আসবেন বলুন মুরগি না চিকেন না পোড়া কোনটা খাবে বলো স্পাইট আমি খুব খুশি হয়েছি It was a very tough raid and look the morning came with a bright sunshine today one thing i would like to certainly share with you people is that there are a lot of sensitization due to the ministry of home affairs and police sensitization is happening but still the sensitization of our judiciary is missing if you go to the district level the judiciary the judges are not able to understand the whole violence and whole crime of trafficking we have to strengthen the police we have to strengthen the law enforcement agency and we have to also support the ngos in creating large scale awareness both at the source as well as in the destination okhaneya porsho din amra baki ta ta majida e yaman nu Rishi Kant and his team at Shakti Vahini work countless hours and rescue hundreds of girls each year. But recovery and rehabilitation are more complicated than just making it home again. These young women are still susceptible to the same problems of abject poverty, few opportunities for education, and limited employment as they were before they were stolen into the sex trade. Unfortunately, this forces many of them back into prostitution new light works in preventing the dangerous generational cycle of sex trafficking by providing a safe place for children of sex workers as well as rehabilitation for victims most of the time the women are robbed of the power to think differently how do you convince a woman who's completely illiterate who was trafficked at 13 was gang raped and sold and bought and sold again into a brothel and has lived and worked every single day of her life as a prostitute to think differently they really really robbed of their innocence very early in their lives we have right now three residential homes uh, one is shoma memorial girls home Um, that houses girls between the age of, uh, um, say, right now, six to eighteen, and then we have another home for the older girls between eighteen to twenty-three, and recently we added a um, home for the boys. The main reason why we created the residential home for the girls was to take the young, you know, pre-teen girls away from here, from this lo location, so that they wouldn't be seen by the traffickers and the clients. and sometimes even the mothers are prone to selling their kids so it was just a preemptive measure many of the people who are on staff today belong to this community they have seen the transformation they are the examples of what education what opportunity can create and how important they have been in this process of transformation and there is no limit to what she can aspire to be I feel personally that that is exactly what New Light uh, has been able to achieve. I can say this with 100% confidence that we can take this model anywhere in the world and with a little bit of tweaking it will work. I often meet friends and who keep on telling me, "Oh, India has no hope. Oh, there is nothing's going to change, nothing is possible." I'm completely opposed to that opinion because there is hope.
And the only thing that remains in our hearts and in our minds and in our little boxes of aspiration is hope. And if we didn't have that, none of us would be doing the work that we do. Smarita Sangupta has created an organization called Destiny that works to help women develop marketable skills such as sewing and keep them out of brothels. I was very concerned about the young girls growing up, what happens to them? Where do they go? Because I don't see, I see most of them, they are dropped out and going to the abortion clinic, visiting it at least twice a year. And they have no idea beside this red light area. They never went out of that. Then we came up with the idea of maybe we start a small unit, maybe sewing unit, because that is the simplest thing I can start with. Police, I mean, I mean, I came to the shop. I get chilo, okay, I did that. So, I mean, 2007, I did that. Okay, I mean, 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 I और हमारे छेले राखे वो जानो भालो करे मानुष को तैपारी और और जानो पढ़ा सुनाई मानो सब की जो दे जानो आमी और साथे थकते पारी वो और वो जानो भालो जीवन जानो दीते पारी और अपन हमारे जीवन टा नेक भालो ही चोल चे और हमें Because the girls were educated, because they were not illiterate, they could see the signs and they could, you know, like, where does this road go? Everything they had uh, may, marked it in their minds. This story shows that uh, education is important. They wanted to go because they wanted to have like a better education from their village. It's so good that people have hope, people have, people think of doing bigger things. It's so good. Effect.org was created to help bring quality education to children from impoverished families. Illiterate out-of-school children are at the highest risk for trafficking. So today, as we all know, that education is the most powerful tool to empower anyone and everyone to take the right decisions, which not only would impact them, but impact society at large. We are trying to enable children to understand how to deal with strangers, actually enabling them to understand the difference between a good touch and bad touch. And this is where it starts from. You know, this is something that if you make one child aware of it today, the child is going to go back home and talk about it. It's, it's very important that we create leaders at all levels. And our leaders today are these children who are going to take uh, this purpose ahead and deal with it. I think I myself am getting healed in some way. I don't know what I need to heal from, but it uh, affects and impacts my life very, very deeply. And when I am surrounded by these women who have suffered um, untold abuse and violence and, and deprivation uh, and see them laughing, I mean, it, it moves me so much that uh, uh, tears stream down my cheeks and I melt. I 
it's very, very deeply moving and very uh, space that provides so much energy, so much healing, so much love. I'm very happy to be a part of this. How many voices will remain unheard until this is stopped? How many girls will continue to disappear? This is not just a problem for India. This is a problem for the whole world. Human trafficking continues to grow at an alarming rate. But there are solutions to end this crime against humanity. The question is, will we stand up to make a difference? Thank mm -hmm. you.